All right, guys, so I stumbled across this absolutely amazing video in which uh, Arizona Attorney General Mark uh, Bronovich does something that I've been advocating for somebody to do. When these journalists ask uh, politicians, athletes, public figures about their vaccination status. And this dude does it. He finally does it <laughs> as he asks a reporter that asked him about his vaccination status, what their STD status is. Take a look. But for the constitutional principles involved. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for pleading United Firefighter Association. I'll be out here after to ask any other questions. That's an inappropriate question. It's not an inappropriate question. This is the thing, Dennis. I will, I will tell everyone here, I believe very strongly in um, the privacy of our medical and health information. And so my health information is, is my own information. I would guess I would ask, Dennis, um, have you had an STD? No, I mean, no, seriously, if we're going to start talking about people's personal health information, I mean, the point is, is that no government, no, no, no government, no, it's, well, you know, it's, if you listen, Bram, to the um, argument, it's funny, Judge Liberty brought up this point, in the 70s and 80s, there was, there was an outbreak, and if you accept the notion that the federal government, for public health reasons, can mandate you to do something or not do something, um, then does that mean if there was an STD outbreak or health outbreaks in the 70s and 80s, could they tell you that you, if you're a government contractor or a, uh, an employee that has a contract with the government, that you can't engage in intercourse with other human beings? I mean, that literally is a question the federal judge asks. So that's not a ridiculous question. The question should be, once you allow or cede this authority to the federal government, where does it stop? And my health information is my own health information, Dennis. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Perfect. I got more non-STD questions. Bruh, I loved it. I love every single last second of it, okay? Because the dude is absolutely correct. He's on point, right? If you're going to ask me about my vaccination status, then I should be able to ask you about your STD status, right? Because you want to know information about my health and if I'm vaccinated, if I got COVID, whatever, right? <laughs> Fine. Great. If you want to play that game, cool. What is your STD status? Okay, do you got gonorrhea? <laughs> you got uh, syphilis, <laughs> chlamydia, herpes, right? And it's funny because this journalist, his counterpoint was like, well, that's not an STD outbreak. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not sure if I agree with you, right? Uh, you ever heard of herpes, <laughs> right? I mean, I think like what? One out of five, one out of four Americans <laughs> got uh, HSV2, right? And I think what is like 60 to 80%? has hsv1 okay and you got people out here uh kissing with masks on like they're afraid of spreading herpes uh to each other so i mean hey i can't really tell whether or not there's an std outbreak or what okay can't really tell <laughs> so i mean regardless the, the principle is still the same okay uh my personal health information is my personal health information Okay, and, and the fact that these journalists feel the need to ask these public figures what their vaccination status is, it just goes to show like how uh, these people feel like they have a right to your medical information. Okay, they have a right to your medical information. And they say, oh, well, it's because of my personal health, right? It's because I don't want to catch it, right? I want to know your personal information to protect myself. And again, I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure this journalist... Uh, doesn't uh, ask uh, somebody that he's about to kiss his wife or, you know, a, a drink he's about to share with somebody if they got herpes right before he puts his mouth on somebody else's lips or on somebody's drink. Right. I'm pretty sure he don't ask. So, again, I think this guy gave the perfect answer and I absolutely, absolutely love it. And I wish more people would do this because that would shut up a lot of these journalists. Because I'll be like, hey, yeah, I'll tell you my vaccination status as long as you tell me your STD status, right? Show me your STD test, and I'll show you my uh, COVID-19 test, and I'll show you my medical papers on my vaccine status, right? Fair? Fair trade? Fair trade? All right, cool, right? And if not, uh, then STFU. But yeah, I mean, dude is right. <laughs> I mean, once you uh, concede authority to the federal government in regards to uh, mandatory uh, vaccinations, then... Uh, how far does it go, right? How far does it go? What else can the government mandate uh, from you, okay? Or what else can the government mandate that you do or that you don't do in order to uh, get a job or be able to participate in 
society. And that's the thing that these people on the left got to understand, man. Once you concede power to the government, they never, ever, ever give it back. Okay, that's why you have to be very, very, very careful what powers you give to the federal government. Because once they have them, they don't let them go. It never happens. It never happens. So again, this dude is right. He's absolutely right. He's a forward-thinking individual. <laughs> forward-thinking individual. And at the time of this video, which happened in November, uh, he was one of these guys that was on the front lines of uh, helping fight against uh, Biden's um, vaccine mandate in court. Okay? So I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Okay? But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black or sort of perspective. Peace.